Welcome to Working with QJS's video course by Pact Publishing. I'm Todd Heppenstall, and I will be the presenter for this course. Kurt Menke is a certified GIS professional, GISP, based out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. He received a master's degree in geography from the University of New Mexico in 2000. That same year, he founded Bird's Eye View to apply his expertise with GIS technology towards ecological conservation. Along with conservation, his other focus areas are public health and education. He is an avid open source GIS proponent, recently authoring the second edition of Mastering QGIS for Pact Publishing. In 2015, he became an OSGO charter member. He is an experienced FOSS4G educator and is a co-author of the GEO Academy. In 2015, he was awarded the Global Educator of the Year Team Award by GEO for All as part of the GEO Academy team. Dr. Richard Smith Jr. received his PhD in Geography from the University of Georgia in 2012. Dr. Smith has designed and implemented software and authored maps for both the public and private sector. He deployed with the Center for Robot Assisted Search and Rescue to Japan to research the use of maps during emergency situations. In that vein, Dr. Smith's research was recently commercialized through TAMUCC's first spin-out company, Carto Fusion Technologies, in which he is President and Chief Technology Officer. Dr. Smith is passionate about providing an excellent education to all students, and his focus on teaching has earned him a 2015 Outstanding Online Educator Award. Richard is an advocate of FOSS4G and building FOSS4G curriculum. Dr. Luigi Pirelli is a freelance software analyst and developer with a degree with honours in computer science at Bari University. He worked 15 years in satellite ground segment and direct ingestion for the European Space Agency. Since 2006, he's been involved in the GFOSS world, contributing in QGIS, GRASS and Map Server Core and developing and maintaining many QGIS plugins. He actively participates in QJS hack meetings and is the founder of the OSGO Italian local chapter. He now lives in Spain and contributes in this GFOSS community. During the last few years, he started teaching Pi QJS, organizing training from basic to advanced level, supporting companies to develop their specific QJS plugins. Actually, he works doing QJS more focusing on smashing bugs on the upstream version for the Boundless desktop team that give commercial support to QGIS as principal component of the Boundless Spatial Desktop product. QGIS embodies the open source community spirit. It seamlessly works with other free and open source geospatial software. The first section, a refreshing look at QGIS, reviews the installation and basic functionality of QGIS that will be the assumed knowledge for the remainder of the book. Next section, Creating Spatial Databases, covers how to create and edit spatial databases using QGIS. While QGIS supports many spatial databases, Spatialite will be used here. Section 3, Styling Raster, covers styling raster and for display. First, color selection and color ramp management are covered. Next, single band and multiband raster data are styled using custom color ramps and blending modes. In the next section, styling vector data. Next, complex vector styles and vector layer rendering are covered. In section five, preparing vector data for processing covers techniques useful for turning raw vector data into a more usable form. Moving ahead, the section, preparing raster data for processing, covers the preparation of raster data for further processing using the GDAL menu tools and the processing toolbox algorithms. Section 7, Advanced Data Creation and Editing, provides advanced ways to create vector data. As there is a great deal of data in tabular format, this section will cover mapping coordinates and addresses from tables. Post that, in section, Automating Workflows with the Graphical Modeler, covers the purpose and use of the Graphical Modeler to automate analysis workflows. In the section, you will develop an automated tool or model that can be added to the processing toolbox. Section 9, Creating QGIS Plugins with PyQGIS and Problem Solving, covers the foundational information to create a Python plugin for QGIS. 
Lastly, in the section PyQJS scripting, provides topics for integrating Python analysis scripts with QJS outside of the processing toolbox. You will be requiring QJS version 2.18.10 or above. So, let's begin this wonderful journey together and I hope to see you there.